Our high-speed comm satellite is now online. The resulting speed at which data is now transferred makes everyone wonder how we got anything done before. <laughs> hey, that's exactly what everyone else was thinking. They were like, how in the world did you even do this before? Yeah, I know. Crazy, right? It says I'm losing power. I could care less about that. It's really just all about pipes for me. Um, yep. Pipe. And now we have a dome without life support. Shit. Forgot about that. Not sure how I forgot about it. I just did. Eh, it's the Renegades anyway, right? Now we really should fix it. This is, needs to be the highest of priorities, actually. Life support pipe, please. Somebody over here and fix it. Okay, I, got you. I just got sector scanned, milestone achieved, uh, all that stuff. And uh, I basically, I got all the sectors completely scanned now, so you get the uh, reward for that. And that is, uh, well, it says global parameter water, cool. Late crafting, cool. Uh, we got that. And milestone achieved, scan all sectors, 2,500 science for that. Which brings us, uh, Mars Novu is done now, cool. So all of our, Mars, our metals and concrete stuff is reduced and water conservation system is moving along. It's getting there, it's getting there. Uh, so uh, we're working on that and I think I want to probably, yeah, I have Mohol on here, right? Yeah, safe mode. And I think after that, maybe we'll go with, um, I mean the Vistas. Recharge stations could be kind of cool. I don't really want to order things from, uh, I don't really, yeah, I don't really want to order uh, prefabs from Earth anymore. We certainly don't need compact passenger models anymore. I don't really think we need the medical center. Let's do, um, have just basic domes. Having improved comfort would be nice. This is a really easy one to do, actually. Why don't we just accelerate that? Because we got a, I have a comfort problem here. I mean, we're not having a problem with births, actually, so maybe that's not a problem. No, we have 94 homeless. Let's let's scrap that. We don't need that. We're comfortable enough as is, man. But what we could do maybe is retirement, age, and death from old age happen later in the colonist lifespan. I think since they don't retire now, we could just have death happen later. But we again, we still have a population problem right now. We're actually overpopulated right now, so that doesn't matter. Maybe we go with gravity engineering. Or outdome buildings require maintenance less often, but we have scrubbers anyway. Network node, uh, I think we just go for the frickin'. Hmm. Gives access to new breakthrough technologies and reduces overall research costs. I guess the sooner we get this, the better, right? I mean, it's kind of a, it's a late game thing. You know, I kind of like this whole uh, Project Morpheus thing, too. We could really just get the Wanders in here. Decorations have increased service comfort. Sanatorium is is useful. Oh, the Hawking Institute. That's not on here yet. Let's accelerate that. Forgot about that. Okay, I'm going to let this keep running. Um, just as an update, we got 17 hours left in the dust storm. Oxygen supply is going to la... Never mind. Hang on. What? What the hell? Well, it was going to last, and then they just... What happened? What just happened? Wait, what? I'm super confused. Wait, how did you lose everything? How did this dome lose everything? Not working. How is it not working? I don't have power my ass. I got 452. Wait, what? What did you guys do? You're hooked to the grid, damn ya. What did you do? There is definitely enough power to power this building. I am so lost. I mean, yeah, we have a 211 leak, but like, I guess I just delete this. 211 leak, but like whatever. Here. Is that better? No? Next leak, please. I mean, I wasn't caring about power because we were way over it anyway, but here, get rid of that leak. How much you got? You got another leak over here. Get rid of that leak. Any other leaks? Huh? This one here? Holy crap, man. Like, what in the world happened to that dome? 
Let's get this power cable installed there. The problem is like none of this stuff is working because I don't have the, the people in the area, right? I don't have the, the means, the people in the area. Oh my gosh. The people. You know what I mean, okay? The drones, I don't have the drones in the area. Come here, right there. Ah, uh, frick, dude. Salvage is what? What's the hotkey for salvage again? Is it just delete? I'm actually starting to start using hotkeys for this if I can. Is it delete? It's certainly not delete. Forget, I'm gonna have to look at the hotkey for salvage. It doesn't actually tell me that mouse over, but. Uh, all right, so, and then there's this pipe leak. Now, like this, these great dust storms have to stop, man. You've got to do something about them. They are really a pain in the ass. All right. I don't really usually care about the leaks, but if you're going to turn off an entire dome for it, I guess. I think what happened there is, like, we have the power surplus. But the leaks caused us to... No, that can't be it. I don't know what happened there. We, we have 600 power surplus. There's no reason for that should go down. The only thing I can think of is, like, this is, like, a separate grid or something. And it was somehow tied to... It does say we have six split grids, but that's just because I've been eliminating the leaks. The only thing I can think of is like that grid has just always been powered by batteries and I just never really realized it. And it got to the point where it, with all the leaks, it couldn't handle the output. In which case I just fixed it. By patching the leaks, I fixed that. But at what cost? Oh. Okay, never mind. I was I thought this one right here was gonna be uh, where my water is, and I was like, that's a big no-no. Let's fix the fix this, and we already got that one started. We're getting this started over here too, with these two patches of water right here. Man, this video is very long. I think what I'll do is just make this into two. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna make this into two. You guys, you guys are seeing this as two videos now. What? You're welcome. It's just too long. Like, I don't really want to have... Like, I try not to make hour-long videos. It's not that I think you don't like them. It's just that I think the overwhelming majority of YouTube doesn't like them. You guys are a special breed of awesome, okay? But to attract new people, I don't know. I don't know if you guys like them. It's, it's, it's hard. It's hard to tell sometimes what everybody likes. If I could tell what everybody likes all the time... Then I would be like the greatest. It would be like the greatest thing ever. I could just read minds and always know what people want. Oh my gosh. Imagine. Imagine. Just like in the movies, you know? He always does the right thing. That's amazing. What a great romantic comedy. <laughs> uh, it'd, be the, it'd be the romantic comedy between us, okay? Me and you, happily ever after, and all the saltiness that goes along with it. That is just barely in range, isn't it? I think that counts. Right down the middle. Yep. Okay. So that'll help with those two. Got more leaks to deal with. Can I survive it? That's the problem. Can I survive it? Nine hours, three hours left in the storm. Yes, I can survive that. We'll let the drones get on it. I no longer have to fix leaks manually. Good. I like to see that. Uh, what else can we do? We're stealing electronics. I need to get them out of the domes that can have this. Like The renegades, man, they just, they never leave this dome. I need to get more renegade domes. Maybe we get another one. They just, th the thing is, like I'm telling them they are not allowed in here and yet they are still here. There are six of them because they don't have anywhere else to go. I don't have adequate housing in a dome where they are allowed to live, right? That's the problem. And um, I'm actually thinking I don't want an infirmary. We're going to get rid of this infirmary. And we're going to replace it with something else. I don't know what. <laughs> replace it with something else. So we're going to place it with another security station. So that uh, these guys can't do this anymore. Okay? And we're going to go ahead and make them work extra hard in all the security stations. Everyone's working hard. See? Everyone works hard all the time in the security stations. You are ever so welcome. I'm sure it won't drive you all nuts. Okay. So, that takes care of the dust storm. 
They're kind of a pain in the ass. We'll go ahead and flip all of the solar panels back on. This is a split grid. That, get fixed, that gets fixed when all the solar panels are built, though, so it's fine. And then all of these can back, come back on. There we go. And we have a 17 power surplus, or 17, uh, 17 water surplus right now. We're fixing another leak. leak. There we go. Okay, we only have one building destroyed. So that means our ecology is done being built. Yes, it is. And this one should be built very soon. And I think, uh, gosh, I don't have anybody working in the farms. Why? Um, all farms are major jobs. All farms are top priority jobs. I think what it is is they're all working in the, uh, yeah, they're all working in the security stations anyway. Wow. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. No, I can't do that, because otherwise I can't cover all of them. I need more housing. I need these apartments to be finished. Then there's a room then there's a place for them to live. All the renegades. They need a place to live. There you go. That's how we that's how we give them a place to live. And of course now that the I'm not gonna give them an infirmary. Now that the uh uh storm is over with we can have the shuttles moving and the shuttles can bring the concrete over necessary to get these done. Cause the concrete was the bottleneck and I tried to have Timmy do it. In fact, I think he still is. Oh, well, I just made a boo-boo. Crop failure reported, research complete. Wow, Martian Milestone Institute's done. Achieved. Construct a wonder, 5,000 science. Hold on, hold on. Where is it? Right here, baby. Oh, yeah. And now she's sucking down the water. Look at it go. A hundred water consumption. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's going to take a thousand water, baby. Let's go. <laughs> we have enough, by the way. We have, uh, well, we've got 600 in storage left. How much does it need? All right, well, maybe we don't have enough, but it we'll have enough soon. Let's um, stop the refuel, fuel refineries for a little bit. Yeah. All right. This isn't getting cleared, but it will soon. Let's go ahead and drop this rocket. It's got some supplies for us that we really want. And then Curiosity's got nothing that we want, but we're going to drop it over here anyway. So there we go. Probably could have dropped it over here, but I didn't. It's fine. My goodness. Crop failure reported. We're going to have lots of crop failures. These are all going to fail, too. It's a renegade, so that's fine. Totally fine. Clara Grant couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> Good. Yes. Depart. The Earth's sick colonists. Get out of here. Absolutely. And we're going to load up all of the uh, rare metals as well. Absolutely. All the earth sick colonists, just get the hell out of here. We don't want you here anyway. All right. We don't need anyone from Earth to tell us what is and is not the best for us. Okay. Cold wave approaching. Cold wave again. No. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. You know why that's fine? Because the freaking artificial sun is done, and I couldn't give a shit about power increases now, right? Because who cares about a cold wave when you have an artificial sun already up? Yeah, stored water's going. It's almost done, and it's not going to suck down water anymore. You ready? It's up, and it's good. What's our actual water deficit? Tell us our actual water deficit. None. No water deficit. Boom! I'm sorry. What's your power surplus now? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> sorry. What's the power surplus now? Suck it, cold wave. <laughs> I don't care about the cold wave anymore, do I? Not even a little bit. Turn the fuel production back on, please. Okay, so... We don't give a shit about cold waves, so we can go ahead and... That doesn't matter. Uh, we're going to... I need to rebuild this. Man, come on, guys. Come on, drones. You can do it. Give this place more drones. 
Any more drones here? Low. Uh, I want to cycle through the drones. Can I do that? Not with tab. Uh, drone hubs, I mean. Uh, okay, low and medium. Let's give you a couple. Yep. And then, uh, let's see. Probably don't need you to have any more. You already, you only have three, so you're fine. You're already loaded up and ready to rock. Now, do we want to do any more planetary anomalies? We could. Not new technologies, though. I like this. Send the research. I mean, Harry 2.0 is not doing anything, right? So send it. And we'll send Perseverance on it. Because Perseverance is not fully loaded with rare metals yet. So they're just going to, you know, unload that payload and be good to go. Curiosity, on the other hand, is fully loaded. So you are off you go to deliver the goods. And also the departing tourists need to go. <laughs> oh, all the tourists were on this. No, the tourists were on this. Well, whatever. The tourists can stay a little longer, I guess. I'm calling them tourists. I realize they're Earth's colonists. I know. But I'm calling them tourists because they're basically a tourist. Right? They are Earth people. And you know what? We don't actually know if Earth people are real people. Okay? God, this is so good. And full power production at night. Yes. Full power production at night. That's what we're going to have with our artificial sun, which doesn't even need to be hooked up with a... I don't think it needs to be hooked up with a pipe anymore, does it? I might regret this. I don't think it needs to be hooked up with a pipe anymore. Sure it doesn't. We can just go ahead and do this. The only way... Oh, we must make sure this is protected by uh, meteors. All right, only one, but it should be good enough. We have MDS protecting this. I think just as a security measure, as a precaution, we're going to place another MDS in this vicinity just to make sure meteors don't ever become a problem for us. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I don't really think we need water conservation system anymore. I mean, we're good. Right, on water for now? Let's go for carbonate processor. I'm gonna get started on the atmosphere. And then we'll go for mohol. And at that point, we uh, we kind of win. Kind of win. Uh, of course, I'm not gonna stop until we have like a nice... Clearly, we need to terraform Mars. And I wanna have... I don't need... Okay, I don't need 100% on this. Okay. I'll have 100% on the atmosphere, 100% on the temperature, and 100% on water. I don't require 100% on forestation. I just don't think it's necessary to do that. But uh, a lot of a lot of forestation, sure. Uh, but at least with these three things, uh, we know it's fully terraformed. And then with this, it just it's just going to do it over time. It's a long thing. It takes forever to get to 100% forestation. So we're just going to do these three. Uh, anyway, I can now make lakes, if I remember correctly. Which I don't remember where it is, because I'm not that smart. Here just... All right, so large lake. Oh, yes. You know you got you to gotta do this stuff. We got to. I don't want it here, though. It's kind of in the way. How about we put it over like... Ooh. Ooh. What about... I kind of want one of these large... I want a large lake, though. I want it to be near the colonists so they can see it. And this is the best place for that? But it's over near the Renegade Dome. How lame is that? Maybe we'll do a small lake because it's easier to place. Is it, though? We don't need sensor towers anymore. Bye. Where? Okay. So that gives us advanced warnings on stuff like this, right? So maybe we'll keep we'll keep three. But if I can, you know, get this done. Come on, tear it down. I want like oh I don't know. Can we do like how about thirty? Thirty drones, please. Make thirty drones. And now I want to terraform this. I'm going to flatten you to be. Level with this. I know this is like this naturally occurring thing and it's beautiful and I wanted to keep it. 
But at the end of the day, I think I want to see a lake even more. And so, it is with great enthusiasm and pride that I flatten the shit out of this and change my mind with great enthusiasm as I have every right to do. There it is. It's not going to take very long to clear that. Uh, what else? It says we're low on food storage. That's because of like our huge water problem that we just went through. However, because we have Anomaly a ridiculous analyzed. amount of power, I can also have a ridiculous amount of water. Because really, that's how it works. A ridiculous amount of power leads you to a ridiculous amount of water with the vaporators. So, the vaporators. That sounds like a band name. You know, I would go see them. What kind of music would that be? If your if your band name is the Vaporators, I bet you like probably everybody would associate it with like vaping and as opposed to like water vaporators. But just for the sake of humor, let me know in the comments what sort of music would a band called the Vaporators be if the Vaporators were inspired by the Moisture Vaporators. Because I think we all kind of have an idea of what kind of music it would be if it was, you know, actual, like, regular vaporators that we have here on Earth and stuff. But it's, it's, it's okay. Just let me know what you think. And you know what? There is no need. There really is no need for any other power source now. We don't even need the fusion generators. But since I'm already... We definitely don't need them to work at night. That doesn't need to happen at all. That can get shut off for all of these. You certainly do not need to work at night anymore. I also don't need you working hard anymore. So let's control click this. I don't need you doing that outside anymore. It is fine. Just be yourself. I might want another drone assembler building though. I might, I might. But we can get even more water. Now, what would we need more water for? Good question. Well, because we're going to be doing things with terraforming. And in order to do that, we need to fill some lakes. And when we're filling the lakes, we're going to be using water. See where this is going? Got to have water. My goodness, my puppers. Every single time my dog is super loud, all of you tell me you can't hear her. I just find that hard to believe. She's so loud. How can you not hear her? It's like, um, a freak of nature, man. I must have just a really good mic. And I don't want to, like, toot my own horn here. I mean, I didn't make my microphone, so I guess I'm not really tooting my own horn, but... I feel like... I feel like there's, like, no way in the world you can't hear her. She's so loud. All right, so these back solar panels are not being scrubbed. How much do I care? Quite a bit, because I, I'm really limited on metals. That's actually the next thing we're gonna do, right? We're gonna be doing molehole, and that's gonna give us metals. Where is it? Mm -hmm. This is gonna give us metals, rare metals, and waste rock. All the things that do your body good. That's the next research project after Carbonate Processor. But I think we can get by on our current metal supply. Uh, where is Nash Commander? Get over here. If we can get this built, then I don't have to have Nash here ever again. Oh, RC Explorer is ready to land. Hi, get down. This is almost done. But I think we're going to put the, the first lake right here. It's going to be beautiful. The entire Columns colony will love it. Departing. Only two? We only have five Ursa colonists. I guess two of them are departing. Okay. The other rocket is slowly working its way towards Earth. All right. Where is it? Nope. Stop. Eh, right? Like this. <gasps> it won't fit. Why? 
Why? Why? Why? <laughs> I'm having a good day, guys. Today's... Today's just been one of those days where you look back on it and go, you know, I feel like every day really should be like this day. And I, it's also one of those days that kind of make me think about how I act Meteor shower incoming. on other days. You know? Like, am I, is it really, do I really need to be so salty all the time? Can't I just cope with my problems a different way? I look at days like today and I think to myself, I really have nothing to complain about. I shouldn't be complaining. It's not that big of a deal. You'll be, everything will be okay, Charlie, you know? And that's, that's, that's today for me. We're gonna change this to seed crops right after they're done with the soybeans. And these guys will probably alternate just a little bit, just for a little while until we get our food supply back up. Because food supply is hurting real bad. Thanks a lot, Dust Storm. The good news, though, is that the goats and all that stuff, right? No way. No way do we have a power deficit that's that big. Okay. My bad. My bad. I didn't turn the subsurface heaters on. Now how is it? Is it really? I just don't believe you. Thank you. <laughs> I was just like, I just don't. I'm sorry, I'm in complete disbelief. I just flat out don't believe you. There's just no way uh, that we don't have, you know? This cold wave, no, not not possible. Uh, like, we have a power deficit, uh-uh, refuse. All right, so we wanna hook this up to pipes here. It, the fact that we have a 24 power deficit right now is absurd. And it's gotta be this. It's gotta be the fact that none of this has a subsurface heater. That's, that's what it is. We can probably hook that up. We just have to have great placement. Because we have lots of water, right? So I think we'll put one. One can go right here. Right here. And then we'll bring the pipe to there. Yep. And then uh, that's it. We don't need to hook it up to there or anything. And then the other subsurface heater can go probably in the middle here. It just needs to cover the middle of both domes. I'm wondering if I can reach it from this point right here. That would be a hell of a reach. I think I'm probably better off just having two separate ones, just to make sure. So there and um, and here. So we'll get those built and then at that point we really don't have a power deficit at all. It's just, I just refuse to believe you. <laughs> it's just no way. With this, once once these domes, all right, it's the, these domes are the reason why, right? Like there's this one's sucking down, it says 19 power, but there's not really all that much power in this building, actually. Um, 31 power from this one. This one here is going to be 81, and then this one over here is going to be 152. We could reduce that down to, like, 55 per dome, right? Like, this one's got a lot of heavy power stuff in it, but it's still only using 55, which is a third of what this one's using. And this one's, like, mostly farms. So, yeah, we just got to build these, and then we're good to go. That'll be up to the drones to handle really quick. And then I think they are within range of scrubbers, are they not? They don't really need to be because they're off most of the time anyway. But like, I know this one is, and um, this one is not. But again, I think it's metals maintenance, right? And they're off most of the time anyway. Yeah. So I'm not going to bother placing new scrubbers for them, but... Well, the thing is, this dome is polymers, and so is this one. And I don't believe either one of them are actually covered by a scrubber. Because this one does not reach the middle. So, 
what I think needs to happen, actually, is we need a scrubber there to cover the middle of this dome. And by doing that, it will maybe reach this subsurface heater. It will probably not reach the subsurface heater. But it will reach the middle of this dome, and that's kind of what I want. That's the only thing I need. And then we'll need another one to be over here to reach the middle of this dome. Which I can't do. I could do this here, but it's really close, man. It's kind of lame how close that is. I would rather, I think, do something like... Oh, here we go. Right here. Yeah, right here. A colonist has died. Is better for that one. And I, I kind of don't care about the dead colonists either. Like, they can die. It's fine. Um, I mean, everybody dies of old age eventually, right? And uh, we're overpopulated, as is. We have almost a thousand colonists. That's going to be a milestone, right? We have a thousand people in here. That should have been my win condition. A thousand percent, a thousand people. Done. Unfortunately, six hours of stored food remaining... That's not done. That's not good at all. When most of your food relies on farms, you know, uh, our ranches, I mean, when most of your food relies on ranches, you're kind of in deep shit when you have to shut them off. It's very expensive to shut them off because it takes a very long time to, like, you know, get back that... That lost time, those animals and stuff, you have to start all over. Those are long projects. It's gonna take a bit. Yeah. Let's expand this out. That should cover those two domes at least. Actually, getting the subsurface, uh, sorry, the, the scrubbers would be a good idea too. And then uh, we have another one here. Yep, this one here. Go ahead and expand that one out. And we'll cover those two domes. And now we have a power surplus easily. No problem. Really don't need this one necessarily, but I'm going to do it anyway because I can. It's fine. It's already built and it's within a range of a scrubber, so it doesn't cost me anything to just pop a little bit of pipe right there. Cover the dome. It's good to go. Okay. Good. We have a food shortage. I was afraid of this. I was afraid of this, and, um, you know, I mean, this might solve our population issue. <laughs> as bad as it is, this might solve it. If I have to give up domes, it's going to be the renegade ones. I might just shut this off. It's really dirty to do that, and I, I, I said everybody, I told everybody I don't play like that. Um, I, I meant it. I wasn't lying. Um, I just sometimes, sometimes I just feel like... This is the way, you know? Sometimes I feel like this is just... This is something I should do. Nobody would... Nobody would care, right? Nobody would know? Nobody would care? The sucker's using 30 power right now. 25 power from this one. Of course, it's entirely because of the cold wave, you know? Hi, ah, right here. So let's get the polymers maintenance taken care of out of this. Oh my god, it doesn't work. It doesn't actually... Wow. You can't cover the middle of the medium domes. I don't remember that being a case. I'm not very good at my job. <laughs> That's, I'm just not that good at it, you know? I'm not good at this game. Let's just cut this, whatever. Well, this one's going to fit, right? We can we can get the barrel dome, so... At least we won't need that maintained. Uh, and then I probably should... Cover these, because they're machine parts. So we'll, we'll cover these two. We'll go right here with it. And then we're going to need another one on that way. Sanity Breakdown, Rain Man. After a hard mental trauma caused by a sanity breakdown, a colonist has suffered a complete change of personality. Celeste Regal, uh, Rigel, Rigel, 
has developed a rare condition known as savant syndrome. Little is known about its mechanisms or nature. In the current state, Celeste uh, shows an incredible talent for calculations. Sadly, this ability is dormant, and it would require a significant effort to be unlocked and put to work. Make sure Celeste is put to good use. We gain 200 science per soul for 10 souls. <laughs> okay. Put him to good use. The health of the savant colonist is has deteriorated uh, due to the hard work on complex three-dimensional equations and other tedious tasks. They have now also gained the chronic condition. But on the plus side, we get science. I mean, when you have... It's... It's just, yeah. It's, thanks, random event. Caused by a sanity breakdown, which sucks. It does. It really does. Like, not having food right now Fun is really, seat. really shitty. But um, there is literally nothing I can do about it because there's no way I can, like, I, there's no way I can produce food faster than I already am. And once all of those ranches pop food, then we're good to go. I can drop more ranches, but that doesn't help me for, like, eight souls or something, right? So... Um, we really want machine parts. So I'm going to grab a whole bunch of those. And that's it, actually. I'm going to grab a whole bunch of machine parts. They are very expensive. 153 apiece. God damn. All right. Launch this back. Bring it back to us. And then, uh, opportunity has nothing to do right now. Uh, what can, do we want to do another planetary thing? Geologists get resources. Resources could be good. I have no interest whatsoever in. Um... Ooh, another one. Hmm. This time we get 300 science per soul. I think at this point, though, I kind of don't care about more science per soul. We're pretty good. It's more about expanding at this point. But, I mean, I don't know. Maybe something like this could be cool. And I probably should have left the rocket at in Earth, like at Earth before I did, like, did this and then brought the rocket back, right? But uh, it is what it is. Uh, we'll send these. I, I don't know what the resources are, but we'll send this one. Of course, they have to unload the rocket now in order to export. So I probably should, when the rocket comes back, if I think I'm going to be doing another expedition, I should probably tell this rocket to not have rare metals, right? But we really need to advance our machine parts production. Which can be done by, I don't know, maybe removing this farm. During a food crisis? Are you insane? The food crisis is temporary. The uh, machine parts crisis is probably also temporary, but I've built a lot of things that take... I, I, yeah, I built some things that took machine parts, so that is how it goes. Yeah, we want all of them working as hard as they can at the ranches. Meteor incoming. We just gotta have to. Oh. Oh, you're over here, are you? Oh, good. I mean, I've marked these things to be destroyed anyway. But it's so nice that you've, uh, yeah, for sure. This is freezing now. Good thing that the solar panels are still installed there and it just boots itself right up. Unfortunately, these are frozen. Yikes. Yeah, that was, that's machine parts. Oh, and then this is supposed to go like that to cover, yeah, to cover these so that they are always scrubbed. Let's get power cables to there. Anomaly and then analyzed. we need to also put another one to scrub itself and the other water source. So we're going to go like this. I believe that will reach. I believe that reaches. Planetary anomaly gained 35 metals. Hey, I'll take it, you know. It's not very many, but I'll take it. Ready to land with 20 machine parts. What? 20 machine parts, you say? Okay. Um, yeah, drop it down. Oh, I did the supply pod instead of the rocket? Wait, what? 
Did I? Did I seriously do that? Oh no. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> I bet everybody was looking at me like, why is he doing that? Looking at me, I just can't believe this. This guy, uh, does this guy know how to play this game? Does he realize he just, you know, paid an extra hundred million for nothing? He, he knows that he, he knows what he just did, right? What I just did is, um, uh, I didn't use the rocket, so I can do the thing that gets me the money, right? And then I can send the rocket back with more stuff, of course. <laughs> Duh. I knew that. That was completely intentional. Absolutely. Dingy. What a dingy. This lake is filling. Interesting that it's filling during a cold wave. It's still liquid. I wonder if it's because this particular part right here is within the range of a subsurface heater. You can increase this a little bit too. Why not? Doesn't increase soil quality and global water while frozen. Ah, so it is frozen. Uh, hi! Perseverance! Three passengers? What the hell you have to... Oh. oh. Wait. Oh, there's a... Oh, I get it. I get it. This is in the way. Move. I was like, why can't I use my own landing pad here? There we go. Alright. Starving colonists! I know! I know, but you see, the thing is, we have food. It's popping, alright? We got pigs. We got cows. All right, we've butchered animals. We have more food here popping any second now. This one right here is about to go. This one right here just happened. Just distribute the food, please. Let's go. And you know what? Now that we have, I think what we really need also is to expand our shuttle network too. So um, that's gonna happen. Shuttle hub. I'm gonna put the shuttle hub, another shuttle hub. Where am I gonna put this? Over here. It's an interesting spot, not sure why. Put another one right next to the old one. Put one right here. It's a little bit close to the tunnel. How about we put it over uh, relative safety of this area? I don't know. It should be someplace where we're making fuel. And that's like right here. So I guess we'll do it. Yeah, I, I, it's not a big deal to have shuttle hubs right next to each other. So I don't see any reason why I can't do it this way. We'll just do it like this. Whatever. Hook it up to power cables. Like that. Carbonate processor is almost done. Then we can start affecting the atmosphere on Mars. That'll be very nice. And once the atmosphere is at 50%, I think. Is that when we stop the meteor showers? 50%. Meteor storms end. 80%. Yikes. It makes sense that you need to have it real thick. But we lose the dust storms at 50%. And we start getting blue skies at 50% too, huh? It's nice. And you know what? Cold waves ending is going to be cool. But as you can see, we kind of took care of that problem. We kind of don't care about cold waves as much anymore. I really am shocked that we're at a deficit. Like, imagine not These having this. <laughs> Biggest deficit ever if we didn't have this. My God, really? Thousand power. We're only we're discharging at eighteen per battery. Nuts. Okay, well, I think I might end the video here during the cold wave. But why? Well, I mean, it's not like anything special. You guys see, we're successful here, except for the parts where renegades are still destroying places to live. I need you to get out of this dome. Come live over here. There's, I know there's not enough housing yet, but please come do that. Live over here instead. I'm, I gotta, I gotta do more housing here. There's no other way around it. Apartments. We gotta drop them down, more apartments. And then I think another dome, honestly, like we need another renegade dome off the side of this, so. I think I'll do another big-ass dome right here. Another medium one right here. 
and we'll hook them up and we'll just have lots of seed production and stuff but we're just gonna need a ton of these security stations but we gotta do it it has to happen guys so that's what's gonna happen i'm gonna take uh yeah we're gonna flatten this ground out and we're gonna get a whole new dome right here i mean it just gotta happen yep right like that please it's just something that's got to happen. So we're going to work on that. It's a lot of terraforming. There's a lot of excess waste rock to, uh, to put there. Or do I need do I need more waste rock? Is that what it says? It says excess, so we have to clear it. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we get a dozer. No, oh, this is the part where everyone's like, didn't we tell him to get a dozer before? We don't need a dozer. I'm just considering getting it. Just considering. It's not like a serious consideration, right? I actually may change my mind in a couple of seconds. But, you know, whatever. We're consuming three water from this lake. How is, uh, yeah, 76%. So we need to get another, another lake too, if we can. And uh, I kind of think, because it improves the soil quality in the area. And so if I put another one over here, for example, we could do some outdoor farming here even if we want to. Um, Research. Complete. I was hoping to do outdoor farming here is what I was hoping to do. Carbonate processor is completed. So Project Mohol is now on, uh, is now at bat. Uh, and with a safe mode at dat on deck. But I think we'll probably grab should we do art workshop stuff? Ooh, here we go. Sanitarium upgrade. Replaces removed flaws with random perks. Get the sanatorium and then maybe that's possible. Or I just help my shuttles. Dude, I really want to help my shuttles. Let's get shuttle stuff. I want shuttle stuff. Okay, I'm just, I'm cuckoo for the shuttle stuff. I want to do that. Factory AI could be good, could be good actually. Um, okay, this first, followed by, um, total speed and capacity, and then we'll, we'll figure things out from there. And then if I have some money, I have, two, I don't have enough money to do it, right? Oh, 200 million. Yeah, yeah. Let's outsource. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And then once we get our rockets, you know, loaded to the teeth. Loaded to the tippy top with uh, rare metals. We send them back and then we use that to just... I mean, as long as we have our machine parts production working, we can just send those back and use the money for outsourcing. This is still not hooked up. All of that water is not actually helping me. Let me get... Can you get metals? This is, this is metals, right? Can we bring metals here? And then Nash... Okay, this drone hub is done, which means Nash can come this way. So Nash, I want you to come all the way over here. We need to get this hooked up so that... Um, double checking. Yeah, the water. It's on. And then what about uh, over here? Got water on over here. This is broken. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. We need metal to repair it. Clearly, we don't have that. Um, we're going to take and make this desired five. Here we go. You have got to be kidding me. The precision! The precision of this game! I tell you now! <laughs> it's actually happening all over the place, though, but come on now! Oh, yeah, this just... just seriously, F this hub in particular right here. 